so this is it. I I haven't uploaded anything in a long time. Well, a lot's been happening. I have survived October, and then now we're in the middle of November now, and I am counting down the days for a graduation. You know, I, I just can't wait for all of it to to just happen for me. Um, but, um, so... In September, we got the notice of that we have to register, so I registered for it, and I have the the flyer for that, and it's pretty, it's great, it's great, it's just all great. So here, here's the flyer. It's probably backwards, but this is class of 2000, fall graduation, and we get to register, and it's December 13th. <laughs> Sorry, it's backwards, but... Um, other than that, um, as you know that November occurred as Native American Heritage Month. So, I just wanted to make a shout out to all you natives out there. Hello. <laughs> but also, try to find ways to improve your, um, maybe lifestyle or your future goals that you want to achieve. Through the month, I've been posting, well, the first, first two weeks of the month, I've been posting, um, videos of the different... Uh, honor songs for veterans so um well it's just it's just on facebook it's nothing very serious but to my friends of mine they were always interested in my culture and stuff so then i did go to well, it's just like three events i went to for the school i went to the aces powwow with my mom and my niece and that was really fun we have an aces community up in um, Fort Collins at CSU. So we have one in the Colorado School of Mines, um, ACES, and then we just have our chapter down here. They're called chapters, not communities, but I still don't know why they don't pair up with all the ACES communities down here. So I don't know why. I think we should all get together and be a whole ACES thing, especially for <laughs> for people that do want to attend a college. Then we had the Veterans Day powwow at um, Denver uh, Denver Indian Center, and that was really fun too. I had to work that day, so I didn't dance. It's really cool because they played, some of the drummers were selected to play honor songs that were played back when the return of um, World War One and World War II. Uh, I didn't get a chance to record them, but I did dance intertribal to the songs and that one was always the good powwow for me because we do have some military people that did um that did serve um back in um world war ii and vietnam so thank you veterans for all your service things that i posted on facebook for uh native american month is is this photo <laughs> and that is my intake of of Pocahontas, um, I wrote, um, the real Pocahontas, as the leaves were blowing in the wind as it was my hair, the image I remember went to the Disney movie Pocahontas. Although indigenous native women are beautiful, we have been set back into a false portrayal of being behind men, wanting to be saved, or the good versus bad Indian, or even the Indian princess. So I said, cut that out. We are strong, and some of us were actually leaders to our tribe and nation. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. I won't, it was serious, but I was serious, but you know, it's kind of a comedic thing because not all of our hairs are perfect, blowing in the wind and being all, all um, noble and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I really want to take on it. So then I went to another. <laughs> Um, event at school, which was um, unrevealing of the Sand Creek Massacre, and over there the speaker was um, Henrietta Mann. Man, a lot of you may know her, but she um, influenced especially on women, na Native women, and also um, college natives as well. So, I took a picture with her. <laughs> so yeah, it. It's really, it was really good. Um, I really like this month, especially going to school, because inform people. And then, so finally today, um, November 15th, is 
rock your mocks. It's when you wear your moccasins and they have a Facebook page and a lot of people are doing it. I did it. I went to our mall <laughs> and unfortunately it's snoring, snowing so I have to um, pack them up and I don't want to get them wet or anything but here's my picture. <laughs> Yeah, I was a I was a dancer, so um, my my thing I said Rocky Mox 2014, showing some attitude. So if you're a dancer, you sort of know what what that means. Okay, so yeah, this it's been a great month and happy um, Native American Heritage Month. Um, I hope you're being exposed to a lot of culture, but also that Native Americans are not from the past. Um, my brother refers it to like, we are being taught in schools like dinosaurs. We're just still here. <laughs> we we are struggling to you know, a lot of things that are getting, that we're getting um, directed off our, our path and, you know, getting involved with that, that darn substance abuse or anything like that. Um, we're struggling with um, harsh harsh living conditions on our reservations and you know but just stay strong um as I, as I always do I always encourage education um whether it be just high school but then um I would recommend that you should go push yourself further into a college education because what who knows how you can repay back your your ancestors or your lands or things like that um one thing I did at the um, uh, Anschutz Medical Campus at the Ben Nor Night Horse Campbell Building was I posted this vid this picture, and it's about you know honoring my ancestors. Um, I wrote, I always ask myself if my ancestors or tribal leaders were to come back and ask me what I'm doing to honor their struggle that they went through to establish the native future generations, I would have something good to say, and I'm on my way on that establishment, but this thought has helped me keep my head up, um, especially with this this um, education path I took. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy, especially when you walk in... What I, what I refer to is especially when you walk in two worlds. You have your native side, and you have your you have other than native side um but you know you're trying to balance everything but i think the most struggle that we have is adhering to our culture and our ceremonies and our language and then i guess the historian's standpoint too i would say that you know back then it was really hard for our native leaders and you know, everyone within the tribes that were forced on relocation and <laughs> and genocide. So, you know, they did a lot for us. As I stand here, I wouldn't, if it weren't for them, I probably wouldn't have gotten my education. I probably wouldn't be living in a, in a good house. So yeah, that, that's mostly it, and I just wanted to share that with you guys, um, natives or non-natives, um, whoever watches this, so <laughs> I bet you probably wonder why there's a beaker behind me, but that was my Halloween costume because I work in a lab, so um, I, got, I got first place at the Halloween contest, and I won um, gift cards to Panera Bread, so, but yeah, um... Again, just happy Native American Heritage Month. I really had fun. Um, it's not over yet. I mean, we, we still have two weeks left, and uh, I still kind of want to do more um, imagery. Uh, impossible, like, writing or something. <sighs> Again, thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a good uh, weekend, but then also... <laughs> Um, I hope you guys are staying warm because up here in Denver, it's really cold and snowing. It's been snowing for like all week and then it just started again today. So yeah, thank you. And I'll post some more videos of earlier things that I did. 
So, um, thank you, and I hope you have a good night.